So when new patches now live for Outriders and today we'll get into what comes with this latest patch. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders be sure to subscribe. So a new patch should be available on your platform right now, um, it's the 3rd of June 2021. By the time you watch this video it's probably already installed. So I did not long tweet out talking about this patch and how the, the game's going to be down for maintenance, 30 minutes maintenance I believe, and within that time a patch will be installed. So let's get into the patch notes people, I mean there's not much here but there's a few new features. Okay so implemented a block that prevents players from kicking other players towards the end of an expedition session. Now I know this was a massive massive issue many people were having problems with, I mean if you join someone's game via co-op, crossplay, whatever. You do an expedition, you do relatively well, you get gold, you get right to the end, you're about to open that drop pod and you get kicked. I mean, it's frustrating. I see posts every single day on Facebook from the various different Outriders groups I'm in, people complaining about this very thing. So it's good to see that they've implemented a fix for this. They've also implemented region-based matchmaking to improve the quality of multiplayer connections. Now, if this works, it will be absolutely incredible. I mean, this was my main problem with uh, multiplayer and co-op and cross-play, whatever. The problem was the connections were just so unstable, it's unreal. But they say about um, they've improved region-based matchmaking to improve the quality of multiplayer connections. Well, I play with my two pals that live literally within two miles from my house. We all have great internet provided by the same internet provider, yet we all struggle still to connect and stay connected to each other. I mean, at first it seems alright, but after a couple of expeditions, it seems that it just goes real bad. And then we have problems. So although they've implemented region-based matchmaking, to improve multiplayer connections, this is one we'll see over the next coming week, no doubt about it. We'll see if this works. They've also updated the login signing in text to better reflect the current signing in process step. So what they've basically said they've done here is not fix the signing in issue, but have the text changed to reflect the current signing in process step you are on. So if it still took you 20 minutes to sign in sometimes, it's probably still going to take you 20 minutes to sign in. And no, in this game it'll probably come with chapters. Signing in, chapter 1. 10 minutes later, signing in, chapter 2. So yeah, that don't seem very promising the way they word that, but we will see. And they've also fixed crash and memory leak issues. They go on to state the following, players can expect more frequent updates as we look to make the best possible Outriders experience. We are also making good progress on identifying and resolving outstanding signing issues, particularly on Xbox. Currently we are also testing out some legendary drop rate changes with the intention to make them less frustrating and more satisfying, well that is good news. We will share further information on these potential changes when we can. Our team is also hard at work on the Stadia version of Outriders with upcoming fixes and stability updates as we aim to get a fully integrated solution soon. We are also investigating uh, continued reports of players' survivability issues. As we previously explained in our recent latest news and known issues blog post which I covered the other day guys, we are looking to explain in the near future some of the deeper mechanics at play with Outriders. And finally, we are also testing out some initial player buffs and will share news of these potential changes when they go live. Other tracked issues currently undergoing investigation can be found in the latest news and known issues thread linked below, which if you want to check out guys, I'll link within the video description. But yes, they seem to be working on, uh, well, legendary drop rate changes, which is a great thing, no doubt about it. I'm still missing like four legendaries, I just can't get them. And they also talk about testing out some initial player buffs, which is pretty cool, I guess. But we will see what happens there, people. But yes, the latest patch, by the time you watch this video should be installed on your platform if you've come here to see what this patch uh, applies to your platform well this is it guys and i hope the video helps shoot out but on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more outriders be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one